It was tough talk from Mr. Ryabkov, speaking about a demise in the global security architecture and an increased risk of a new arms race now that Russia and the US have both withdrawn from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces deal, or INF, um, as we know it. This was his first appearance before the media since the end of that deal on Friday the 2nd of August. The INF was signed in 1987 by the then US President Ronald Reagan and his Soviet counterpart Mikhail Gorbachev, and it banned short and medium range missiles with a range of between 500 and 5,500 kilometers. But the US said that Russia was in violation of the pact and it threatened to and then did complete uh, its withdrawal from the deal as Russia also did. Mr. Ryabkov says it's a quote, complete fallacy that Russia did not comply with the terms of the deal, saying that Moscow did its utmost to uphold its side of the agreement. The problem for NATO is over a Russian missile called the 9M729 or the SSC8, as it's known in NATO parlance. And they say that this violates the terms of the agreement. But Mr. Ryabkov says the international community has nothing to worry about and this missile does not constitute a material breach of Russia's obligations under what's now an expired deal. He also warned against NATO's destabilizing actions if it develops and deploys new missiles of the kind that would have been prohibited under the terms of the previous deal. The final remaining legal agreement between the US and Russia when it comes to nuclear weapons is the New START Treaty. Now this expires in February 2021. Mr. Ryabkov says that Russia is ready to carry out exhaustive measures to ensure its own security in the case that there are no extensions agreed to this deal, which is the final remaining agreement on nuclear weapons between the US and Russia. Ross Cullen, CDTN, Moscow.